We've traveled on a slinky that is stretched to four meters. Takes two seconds to travel length of the slinky and back again. One. I don't know why. Hmm. The reason I pulled out this question is for part B. Because uh, part A is, uh, I hope it seems simple to most of you. So let me have this representation of the wall and this representation of the slinky. And if uh, we are saying that uh, it takes a wave um, to travel to the wall and then back, it takes time of 2.2 seconds then you have all the information you need to calculate the speed. This distance is four meters, which means the round trip distance of eight meters per this amount of time, 2.2 seconds. And that will give you the wave speed. Um, I'm just gonna use the approximate number here, but you should use a calculator to get an exact answer. Approximate number here is four meters per second. And that's hopefully simple enough. <laughs> the reason I pulled this out is for the second part, where it's talking about creating a standing wave. Um, stretch the same length, a standing wave is created. And it's talking about consisting of three antinodes and four nodes. Uh, what is it talking about? This is where I think really nothing, uh, I was pointing this out in the lab, but especially for those of you who are in the lab, I really think not, nothing beats analyzing situation questions like this than just drawing the figure. So here it's a quite familiar uh, picture of standing wave that you would have. You have a wave which is tied down at the two ends. One end is tied to the wall, and the other end, you are holding it by hand that you are not moving too much. So when you are imagining forming standing wave here, this is the simplest standing wave that you can form. It's the fundamental, it's the one with the lowest frequency or longest wavelength. And you can see that it has one antinode and two nodes. All right, so that's not it. I need to go higher. The next standing wave will look like this. Uh, I need to enforce the boundary conditions that I have nodes at the end. So the standing wave here will look something like this. So I have two nodes now and one, two, three antinodes. So, uh, sorry, three nodes. So, okay, I'm not quite there yet. I need four nodes and three antinodes. Oh, so the next one, should work. So let me just uh, put it here. Um, so what I'm anticipating is two more nodes. So let me just draw them here to help me draw the wave. And the standing wave will look like uh, this shape at one moment in time. And you wait long enough and the standing wave will turn like this. And you see you have one, two, three antinodes, which is what it's looking for. Okay, um, so there's a reason for drawing of this picture. The, this picture, as with the lab, helps you figure out the wavelength. What you have constant here is this distance here is four meters. And with all these pictures drawn, I hope it's easier for you to tell that this is the portion of the uh, thing that represents the wavelength. And once you have everything drawn here, I hope you recognize this entire distance here is one whole wavelength plus a half a wavelength. So this distance is, is a three halves of wavelength. Call that four meters and you can solve for wavelength. Wavelength is, uh, well, eight over three meters. Once you have the numerical value of wavelength, then um, you have the wave speed or more exact version of that. Then you once again use this relationship, wave speed is equal to frequency times the wavelength. Solve this for frequency and plug in the wavelength and the wave speed and you're done. So, so yeah, once you know how to do questions like this, then it's not that hard. Um, you just need to pay attention. So I, I really recommend that you draw. 
and that as you draw these, you focus on drawing these pictures correctly. I think I pulled out a couple more questions to uh, uh, demonstrate a couple additional examples. But start out with the drawing, make sure your drawing makes sense as you go through step by step. Then the final kind of algebra and calculation you have to do will be frankly easy.